Hi guys, this is Maggie from Rock Paper Copy and you can find us on www.rockpapercopy.com We specialize in website optimization, we work mainly with Shopify stores, although we work on other platforms as well. We can help you with search engine optimization, um, marketing strategy, social media marketing and similar services. In this video I'm going to talk about a topic that appears often on the forums and it appears often especially from the new store owners, new website owners that have created the website and they are puzzled why, uh, if they already are getting traffic, why the traffic is not converting into sales. And there could be few reasons for that and I will cover those two or three reasons that um, can affect sales or lack of thereof and we call that lack of conversion. So very low conversion rate or no conversion because the visitors are not turning, are not converting into paying customers. So the first reason that can be at fault um, for low conversion is your traffic is not relevant so you are getting traffic but the people that are visiting your store are not uh, the people who are necessarily actively looking to purchase your item um, so they are not your target customer Although it, um, it sounds um, harsh because you think, okay, so my, my, my product is basically, um, anybody can buy it, you know, if you are selling, I don't know, screwdrivers, anybody can buy it, you know, any, any age group, uh, man or woman can buy the, um, those kind of tools. So you're thinking, why? Am I not getting sales? I mean, screwdrivers are not that unusual thing to buy, right? But obviously, when you're selling on online, there's there's too many things to consider before you actually make a purchase. It's not only a price; it's not only a selection. Obviously, other aspects as well that I'm not going to cover necessarily in this particular video. Um, but the relevancy of your traffic plays a huge role. Now, even if you have visitors from you know, your, your target audience, it doesn't mean that they will convert the first time that they visit your store because every visitor or every person has got this kind of purchasing journey. Um, the journey has got few stages, so the first stage is a curiosity because they suddenly discover they've got a need or they've got a lack of a product so what they do they search and they browse the website it doesn't mean that they are going to convert into paying customer on that day at that very moment it happens obviously but most of the people are simply browsing websites are comparing prices are comparing offers and it might take a few visits from this particular visitor before they turn into paying customers. Um, so this is one of the, this is the first reason why your traffic is not converting into sales. Another reason is that you are not targeting the keywords or the phrases that are being used by people in the later stages of their purchasing journey. Um, let's picture this and let's analyze this point this is because this is very important and this is overlooked by many many people when they are um, working on their keywords or optimizing their content. If you are targeting a keyword for example um, women's clothing or women's evening dresses or women's evening shoes you are getting a very very um, wide um, wide angle traffic that comes from people who are at the very early stage of their purchasing journey they are browsing 
And how do we know that they are browsing? Because they're not looking for anything specific. They are looking for for very wide selection of items. So they are looking at basically the broad aspect of evening wear, of evening dresses or evening shoes. So they are not in this mindset that I'm looking for this particular dress. I'm looking for I'm looking for the dress that is fitted, that has that brocade, that has that some kind of red embellished flower on the front. And um, once you switch to the later stage of the purchasing journey, and once you target a very specific keyword, that's when you are attracting more relevant traffic, more relevant visitors. Because if you are selling um, a ruffled skirt that is made from, um, I don't know, some kind of lacy material and it is, it is black and your main keyword is black ruffled skirt, you won't get the, um, the, the, the traffic that will convert into sales or it will take you a very long time before you do that. If you target a traffic or if you target the keyword that says um, black lacy skirt with ruffles at the bottom it will be very very easy for you to convert any incoming visitor into sales although there will be fewer visitors but the percentage of the visitors that will actually buy will be much higher so the conversion rate will be, will be more because you are actually delivering the item the perfect, perfectly matched item that they are looking for. And because they are using very specific keyword, they are looking for this specific product um, in a mindset of buying it. So in order to improve your conversion, in order to um, get more visitors that turn into paying customers, you have to change the way you um, target your keywords. The third reason why your traffic is not converting into sales is is often, although it's not um, it's not necessarily the case with many websites, it is your website design. And uh, and I've seen many websites that convert widely convert like crazy although their design is poor but because they have plenty of products they, they've got good prices they've got excellent customer service they convert I mean look at Amazon it, it has got nothing to show for itself in terms of the design but they convert very well and I remember with my first website I was um, I had very decent sales before I um, I decided to um, to redesign my website and the sales didn't really improve although my website completely changed I had exactly the same the same sales so it is not often the case that um, website design will improve your sales website design definitely will help you get your website to the next stage of your journey you know looking more professional but it doesn't mean that you have to go into website redesign if you want to improve yourself or, you, or that you can that you can blame website design for lack of sales um, because people often um, overlook um, the website to design if they really want to buy something from you. Obviously, if the website looks really dodgy and uh, and there is lack of um, basic information like uh, shipping rates or, or lack of trust signals, that will absolutely affect the sales. But if you have got these things in place, but you think that your website is not up to scratch, that is the reason why um, you're not converting. Um, don't beat yourself too much, obviously, and don't obsess over that because there might be different reasons for lack of sales. Another reason why you've got plenty of visitors but they're not converting, it could be, it could be simply the, 
just part of the just part of the trade. Every business and every market has got this kind of waves going up, going down, going up, going down, and sometimes you will incur or experience lack of sales for a few weeks, few days, few months sometimes. Don't be scared to spend this time working on other aspects of your business, but don't be obsessed about lack of sales. It's just part of the, the journey. This is part of the cycle, the business cycle, the trading cycle. So don't be obsessed about it. Um, there was another reason that I wanted to cover and um, and it is also very important that you don't have enough selection of the products on your website. Um, when I review the websites and uh, uh, often I uh, I read the the questions and they say why there's not many sales and I go and visit the website and I see they they are selling about two t-shirts, two trousers, you know, one one hat and. It's difficult to make decent sales when you only offer a few items. It is still possible if you narrow is, if you, if your niche is very narrow, but it will be very very difficult for you to um, to make a living out of selling few products. You have to be very smart, even if you're not dropshipping, even if you are not investing in the beginning a lot into new products. There are ways to to extend your stock without spending too much money, which I covered in previous videos and I covered in my ebook as well, so I recommend getting it. Um, you can find it on uh, on my website on www.rockpapercoffee.com and it's ebook under learn uh, link. And um, I cover the experience of um, creating or building an online store on a shoestring and how to add more product, how to build your merchandise, extend your merchandise when you are when you are on a shoestring. So there are ways to do that, and uh, and this is one of the reasons why many people, why many stores lack sales. There are not enough products. In their store, merchandise, everything, product is king, and and this is um, this is true for every online store. You have to have a very wide selection of items. Um, obviously, within your niche, within a certain niche that you're targeting, um, but specialize. The key here is to specialize. If you're selling sunglasses, you don't want to just offer ten pairs. You want to offer ten styles from you know ten ten different colors and different styles from each pair. You want to have as wide selection as possible because this way you um, you increase your chances of a sale. Um, so I hope you like this video. If you've got any other questions, if you've got topics that I haven't covered, which might convert the which might affect the conversion. Um, if you if you think that um, that I should talk about any other topic that is bugging you that you would like to learn more about, please leave it in a comment below. Like this video um, if you found it useful. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like your website to be reviewed um, by me by the e-commerce e expert with over 11 years experience. In e-commerce, please visit me on www.rockpapercopy.com and order your full website critique. So under services, go down to critiques and order your complete website critique right here. And uh, also follow me on social media on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Rock Paper Copy. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.